Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this is the May original BAM box. Uh, yep, two days ago actually, I ended up doing the horror BAM box. Hopefully people enjoyed that uh, video. Sorry the lighting might not be the best. I'm see if I can fix it and when I'm editing. But um, yeah, May box. Uh, this should have the third print in the series of three uh, for the Infinity War stuff. Uh, pretty excited about that. I have an idea of, you know, what characters are left. Um, actually just got done at the theater, saw the, saw Solo uh, Star Wars story, and uh, no spoilers, I won't say any spoilers, but gotta be honest, didn't really like it. I know it's, uh, I've heard, I've heard good and bad about it. I've heard people who are like, oh, I love it, it's awesome, it's awesome. I've heard people like, I thought it was terrible. So, and, and in between, so... You know, whatever. I wasn't a big fan, but I am a big fan of Bambox, and I am a big fan of seeing what they put in here. I don't remember any of the properties for the May one. Well, I dropped something, because it was wrapped up in here. Oops. That'll be the first thing that I reveal. Two pieces of tissue paper. Cat will be happy. And this is... I don't... On the house... What is this? I don't know what this is from. Oh, this might be from, I think there's supposed to be like a Fallout item and this might have something to do with Fallout maybe? It says uh, Lucky 38 on this side, let me see. And it's like a roulette wheel kind of. And then on the other side it says 200 and then it says on the house. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's referring to. It's heavy, once again, you know, they do metal stuff. Not metal stuff, but metal stuff. Although, sometimes Bay Box is metal. Especially the horror box. Anyway, um, did I get a 1-Up? I did. Got a 1-Up. I got a 1-Up in my horror one, too. So, pretty excited about that. I don't remember what the colors have to do with. And it doesn't say. Because uh, the horror one I got was yellow. This one's green. I'll find out. So, pin next. You know, I love the pins. Uh, this one's done by Brian Romero, is the designer. Oh, and it's, I have a feeling I know what it's going to be. Oh, nice. That's cool. Um, this is from G.I. Joe. I forgot that was one of the properties. Well, like I said, I forgot like all the properties in it. And it's, uh, looks like it's Snake Eyes. Is that, it's hard to see because of the lighting and it's purple. It just kind of like ends up looking black. Maybe I can fix it. Yeah, I see it. Pretty good design. Sorry, it's not showing up all that great just because of how dark it is. Um, but it's good. I'm down with that. It's a good pin. It's on the larger side, which usually they're a lot smaller. All right, so, yep, this is the third of the series of Logan Pack Infinity War prints. And looks just as good as the first two. Okay, oh, that's nice. I'm gonna put this box down so I can go over everything with people here. Um, eh, hopefully everyone's seen Infinity War because there is like something a little spoilery on here. It's not like a huge thing, so spoiler alert. I got number 115 out of 2000. Here you go. Uh, this is a spoilery thing. There's Red Skull. Uh, War Machine, Falcon, Loki, Vision, Scarlet Witch, Winter Soldier, slash Bucky Barnes, uh, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, and Spider-Man. Yeah. Looks good, right? I like how he's got, uh, Doctor Strange has his little, like, energy things out, or magic things. It's cool. Looks good. I expected it would, because the other ones looked good. Good job, Logan Pack. It's nice. And then, the autograph. Mm-hmm. What it says. Oh, okay. I had a feeling this is this is what this was gonna be. Oh, and now I remember what the, what one of the properties was. Deadpool two. That was a huge thing because everyone's gonna get an autograph from someone in Deadpool two. And this is the it's signed by Stefan Capis Cap I'm sorry. C K A P I C I C. Capicic. I don't know. Sorry, dude. 
but he plays Colossus. He so obviously he's just the voice. So he does Colossus in Deadpool one as well as Deadpool two. I haven't seen Deadpool two yet. I really really want to, but unfortunately, just I haven't had time. I will. I will. Don't worry. Well, it's in the theater. I'll still. I, I will see it. So um, yeah. I mean, this is actually. Oh, it is a piece of artwork. It's not like an actual picture. And the artwork's by Johan Britz. He's the one who did this. Because at first I was like, it actually kind of did look like it was a picture. But if you look closer, you can see that it's not actually a picture. It looks it, it looks kind of airbrushy. Like it's done with airbrush. That's pretty cool. Looks good. Oh, wow. Okay. This must be the upgrade item because it says, if you can see, right in here. Oh, yeah. 74 out of 99. That's nice and limited. 99 of these? It looks good. Like, that artwork is really cool. Now I'm even more interested to see what the what the other ones were. Which we will right now with the spoiler sheet. Put the box down. Okay. Um, <laughs> all of these were, were... Yes. All of these were good options, honestly. So, with the autographs, you could have gotten these. Uh, you could see just a picture from the movie, it looks like, with him signing as Colossus. This one's really cool. If you can get a... God, sorry, the lighting, like I said, not that great. You can see he's, like, uh, animated, like, Deadpool on a unicorn on a rainbow. And then the one that we got, it was only 99 done. That's cool. Those are all good options, though. Uh, with the art print, there was just one variant... And it was gray, black, white, and gray for the most part. Um, honestly, I'm glad that since I got, like, in the first one, well, if I would have, in any of them, got the color version, I'm glad I didn't get any of the grayscale, like, black and white ones in any of them because I would want them all to match up uh, when I put them all side by side. Um, so, glad that didn't happen to me. Okay, I was right. Uh, the coin is from Fallout New Vegas. Lucky 38 Platinum Chip is what it's called. That's by Dark Matter Props. Let me see on there. All right. Then the pins. We got the common. Well, I got the common for the pins, which was Snake Eyes, like I said. Uh, there's Out of 250, there's Destro, and one out of 99, uh, Scarlet. So people remember their... G.I. Joe, see, they look good, they look nice, um, I'm good with getting Snake Eyes, I think Snake Eyes was one of my favorite characters anyway, so, definitely cool, and then there was, they were doing a giveaway, uh, for a signed Funko Pop, um, inscribed Yo Joe Snake Eyes done by Ray Park, which is really cool because if people don't know, Ray Park also played um, Darth Maul in Phantom Menace. Lost it for a second. I was just at a Star Wars movie, so geez. All right, so overall with this box, um, I like it. Uh, typically like their stuff. Um, don't really care all that much about the coin, but that's mainly because I haven't played Fallout. I actually like just briefly played Fallout 3 before and that's pretty much it for any Fallout game. So don't really care about this one that much, but I do know I was actually just talking to some people recently who were saying they really like Fallout um, New Vegas, so I'm gonna give that to them. That's cool. Obviously always excited about the pins, they always look pretty good, so that is nice. Obviously really like the print, I like the last two in this series, did a really good job. And very, very, very excited to have gotten this, uh, the most rare version of the autograph, because it really does look good. It really does. Like, it definitely, definitely looks like really nicely executed airbrush. If you guys can, I don't know if it, nah. just like, pause and just get a good look in there. You can see. Anyway. Yeah, good stuff, once again. Um, the original box for, oh yeah, okay, so for June, I already know there's one property in the June box that I'm very, very, very excited for. Uh, also with the horror one, it's the same situation. There's one property I'm really excited for, so both those boxes should be really worth it for me, um, especially if those items are good. 
Honestly, if just those items are good in each of the box, I'm going to be totally good with the boxes overall. But anyway, uh, once again, Bandbox does it. People, if you could help me out, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to post, put some comments down there, I will interact with you. Everyone, we can interact together, talk about geeky, nerdy stuff, and I'm good with that. I almost said another word. Try to keep it clean. Um, and then uh, if you could go ahead and just let people know about the, sh about the, um, the channel, if they want to see some unboxings, give me some thumbs ups for some likes. Not like it really means anything, but, you know, it's just nice for people to just be like, hey, thumbs up, I like you. But anyway, until next time, thank you so much for checking this out, and keep it brutal.